Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So today's the day, and as I have been posting on recently, if you are still running Windows 7 ESU, which is the extended security updated version of Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, that later today in my region, the 10th of January 2023, Microsoft will be releasing their final and last updates for those versions of the Windows operating system. So uh, it is advised if you are still going to be sticking around with Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 after today, that you do make use of these final security updates, which Microsoft will be releasing later on today in my region. Now, as I did post on last week, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description, um, if you are still running Windows 7 ESU and Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, um, after the 10th of January 2023, those operating systems will still function, but you will no longer be getting any more technical support, software updates or security updates from Microsoft, which means the operating systems would have reached their end of life later today on the 10th of January. So just take note of that. Now, I'm not going to get too much into the end of support in this video because I have um, posted quite in depth on that recently. But something I just wanted to bring to your attention, especially if you are running Windows 7 ESU, and that is that Microsoft, according to uh, recent reports, um, last year in September with the Patch Tuesday updates that they released in September of 2022, added secure boot support to Windows 7 ESU. Now, this is only applying to Windows 7 ESU and not the normal version of Windows 7, which, as many of you know, reached its end of life in 2020. But um, for Windows 7 ESU in September of 2022, uh, Microsoft added um, secure boot support, which basically is an enhanced security feature. And as many of you may know by now, is a system requirement for the Windows 11 operating system. Now, in regards to the secure boot support, um, the Twitter user who calls himself Bob Pony recently posted um, this screenshot um, of Windows 7 Enterprise running in a virtual machine. And um, as part of the options for the operating system, yeah, we can see UEFI enable secure boot. So secure boot support added to Windows 7 ESU in September of last year. Now, um, when it comes to a secure boot support, in case you were unaware what it's actually all about, um, according to Microsoft, um, secure boot um, makes sure that a device boots using only software that is trusted by the original equipment manufacturer. So that means when the PC starts or your PC starts, the firmware then checks the signature of each piece of boot software, including the, U the UEFI firmware drivers and EFI apps and the actual operating system. And then if those signatures are valid, then the PC then will be allowed to boot up and then the firmware uh, gives control over to the actual operating system. So that's just a very quick summary of what Secure Boot is all about in case you are unaware. Now, it's very strange that uh, Microsoft actually added Secure Boot support to Windows ES ESU as it was kind of heading out the back door uh, late last year. And um, But nonetheless, if you are still using Windows 7 uh, ESU, although the um, final updates are rolling out later today, I just wanted to bring it to your attention because if you are hanging around with the operating system for a little while longer um, that Microsoft has added secure boot support, which me, might be a nice addition when it comes to security regarding the Windows 7 operating system. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.